Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to give my quick review for the Mimu emulator for Android. So this is an emulator which recently started showing up in high places in the Google search engines. I didn't really see it there a year or two ago. So I decided to give it a shot, and so far I've been pretty impressed. So as you can see here, it's got the Google Play Store out of the box, and when you open up the Google Play Store, it doesn't have any clutter, any ads, nothing's been done to it. It's just the classic Google Store that is probably exactly what you want. So you can go ahead, download, install anything right out of the box. You don't need to download any packages uh, to install Google Play. It's just there, which is really useful. Um, also, one of the really cool things I like is that you can actually have multiple instances of it um, at one time using this multi Mimu, uh, which is a it, this shortcut comes out of the box, so you don't need to install anything extra. And it just allows you to have uh, multiple instances running at the same time. And uh, we can actually see a manager for that up here, the multiple instance manager. You can create new ones. Um, with mentioning, uh, it defaults to Android 4.4.4, but you can actually create a uh, emulator for version Android 5.1 here. So if you need to have one of the latest versions of Android, that's going to be handy right there. So. Clearly, I'm, I'm running two right now, which is nice. Uh, if you needed to test any kind of networking thing, which I might do later, um, then that's going to be useful for you. Uh, also, from what I've noticed, it runs pretty dang fast. Uh, no real complaints there. Opening up games, uh, being able to use the Play Store, just fine. Um, about the performance, I would expect from a good emulator. I would say it's uh, pretty comparable to Jenny Motion in that regard, which is kind of... Uh, more of a developer-focused emulator, but it runs very fast and it's very good um, for those kind of purposes. And although this gives you a lot of nice features, it's actually free and it doesn't spam you with advertisements. I think this today's choice thing um, might have like app recommendations or something, but I'm not actually certain because for whatever reason that feature isn't available in this uh, country. Um, but yeah, not an issue there, and we can probably just remove that. Okay, I guess we can, so we're stuck with that there, unfortunately. Um, so another highlight is that all the emulators are pre-rooted, so if you needed to test any functionality which requires your device to be rooted, um, that's going to be in, that's going to come in handy. Um, just because rooting a device is a pain in the butt. Uh, now I think most of the good emulators out there these days are probably going to be pre-rooted as well. But it's good to know that it is pre-rooted, because once again, if you need to test anything that requires a rooted function, you won't have to do anything to set that up. So that's pretty much it um, in covering the Mimu emulator. So far, I've been pretty impressed. you got a lot of good things going for it. The speed, the lack of advertisements, the fact that it's free, um, and the ability to have the Play Store and it being pre-rooted out of the box. It's really a, a solid package, and I can easily see why it's been climbing so quickly in the Google search engine rankings. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the next year or two it overtakes BlueStacks or something like that, because, well, BlueStacks does hit you with advertisements, and this one doesn't, and it's very fast. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching my review on the Mimu emulator. Uh, I would say go ahead and give it a shot if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my future video content.